Hey everybody, it's Good Heart Kit. Hi kids, your adventure today awaits in the story, The Deer in the Wood. Rosie will be reading this story that was adapted from the Little House books written by Laura Ingalls Wilder and illustrated by Renee Groff. kids, I'm Rosie. Welcome to story time. Today's story is an adventure in the woods with Pa and some deer. Oh no, Rosie! Don't tell me that Pa shot a deer. That will make me sad. Well, Shelby, I can't tell you what happened because I don't want to give the story away. But I think you're going to enjoy this story. Let's read. The Deer in the Wood once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. Laura lived in the little house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her baby sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog, Jack. It was autumn and the days were getting short and cold. A fire burned all day in the cook stove to keep the little house warm. Laura and Mary worked on their patchwork quilts in front of the fire. One night, Pa said that after supper, he would go into the big woods to look for a deer. There had been no meat in the little house since spring, and it was time for Pa to go hunting again. After supper, Pa went into the big woods. Laura and Mary went to bed and they missed the songs Pa always played for them on his fiddle before they fell asleep. The next day, Laura and Mary waited for Pa to tell them about the deer. But Pa was busy all day chopping firewood so the little house would stay warm inside, and there was no deer meat for supper that night. After supper, Pa took Laura on his knee while Mary sat close on her little chair. Pa said, Now, I'll tell you why we had no meat today. Last night, I went into the woods and climbed up into a big oak tree to watch for a deer, Pa said. Soon the big round moon rose, and I could see a deer with great big horns that stood out from his head. <laughs> He looked so strong and free and wild that I couldn't shoot him. I sat and looked at him until he ran off into the big woods. Then I remembered that Ma and my girls were waiting for me to bring home some meat for supper. So I made up my mind that the next time I saw a deer, I would shoot. After a long while, a mother deer and her baby fawn stepped into the moonlight. They stood there together, looking out into the woods. Their large eyes were shining and soft. I just sat there looking at them until they walked away among the shadows. Then I climbed down out of the tree and came home. Laura whispered in his ear, I'm glad you didn't shoot them. And Mary said, We can eat bread and butter. Pa hugged both of them together and said, You're my good girls. Soon, Laura and Mary were tucked snugly under their covers. Pa played his fiddle softly, and Ma sat by the fireplace, gently rocking and knitting. And Laura lay awake a little while, thinking how lucky they were to be safe and cozy in their little house in the big woods. Oh, Rosie, I just love Pa. I'm glad he didn't shoot the deer. And I think Laura and Mary were happy too. Kids, if you are enjoying the Little House adventures we are taking, be sure to check out more of our stories on Good Heart Kids. Hope to see you soon. Thank you for joining us for our story today. We hope to see you again soon. If you like the story, hit the subscribe button below. If you click the bell icon beside it, we will let you know when we have a new video for you to watch. See you soon!